Let's build a Lego soft drink fountain dispenser, complete with cups, an ice machine, and soft drink. Let's get started. Let's start the tutorial with a 6x12 plate. Let's set down two 1x6 plates on the top. For the left hand side, set down a 1x3 and 1x2 plate. In this area, place down a 2x4 plate. And in the back, a 2x8 plate. Now I want to tile off my floor. I'm going to add four 2x2 two two plates with one knob or jumper plates. These are going to be used to anchor down the mini figs to the floor. Let's finish up the bottom portion with four 1x2 flat tiles. On the right hand side, let's place three more 1x2 flat tiles. And to finish off the bottom right, a 1x1 one one flat tile. Now let's set down a 1x6 brick on the left hand side. Another 1x6 brick on the top. And a 1x2 and a 1x3 three brick. To finish up the back, let's place another 1x6 brick on the left and a 1x4 brick on the right. Place a 1x3 brick on the left hand side. Now let's grab four 1x2 profile bricks where we have the profile vertical. Let's place them in the remaining area. This will give the bottom of the soft drink fountain a nice texture. Now let's start building up the counter starting with a 2x8 plate followed by a 2x4 plate. Now I want to finish off the top. Let's take a 2x2 two two plate with one knob or 2x2 two two jumper plate and two one by two plates with one knob. I want to fill in this area in with four one by two radiator grills. This is going to give an illusion of a drain for the fountain. Now let's continue building up the walls starting on the left hand side with a one by three and one by two brick and two one by six bricks in the rear. Let's place a one by six brick on the left, a one by six brick on the rear, followed by a one by two and a one by three brick. Let's start the fourth row with a one by three brick and a one by two brick left. Place a 1x3 brick in the top left. Let's set down a 1x8 plate in the center and a 1x1 one one brick on the right. Now let's grab four 1x2x2 two two wall elements. Let's place these in the back. This is going to give us a bit of a splash guard keep the soda from staining the walls. Let's fill in this area with two 1x4 bricks with four knobs where the knobs are facing inside. Now let's place a 1x2 plate with one knob in the center. Let's grab a tap and a 1 by 1 transparent clear round flat tile. Place the tile on the end of the tap and place the tap on the jumper plate. Making sure that the 
nozzle is centered. Let's continue on the left of the wall with a 1x6 brick and a 1x2 brick. Now, let's place two 1x8 plates on top of the bricks with knobs to level everything out. And a 1x1 one one brick on the top right. Let's continue the next row with a 1x3 and a 1x2 brick. Followed by two 1x6 bricks on the top. Let's go one more layer of bricks, starting on the left with a 1x6 brick. Another 1x6 brick. A 1x2 brick and a 1x3 brick. Now I want a flat tile off the top of the walls. Let's start with a 1x1 flat tile on the bottom left. Let's fill in the remaining areas with four 1x4 flat tiles. I like to have my box finished off on the top. Cleans up the top a bit better. Let's start the top of the soft drink dispenser with a 2x2 flat tile. Let's flip that upside down. Let's place a 1x2 brick on one side and two 1x1 one one angular bricks on the other side. Now, let's take a 1x2 by 2x2 two two angle bracket or angular plate, place it on the bottom like so, and let's place two taps on the remaining studs. Now we're going to need to build two of these. I have one already built in advance. Now we're going to need to fill these areas in with some flat tiles. So I'm going to place a few flat tiles in the remaining voids. Now you can use any color you wish. I'm using this to represent soft drinks. You can also take some transparent 1x2 flat tiles and stick a little insert inside and label your soft drinks. Now I want to crown off the remaining areas on these knobs with a couple of 1x1 transparent round flat tiles. Now I'm going to match up the color with the tile. So I'm just going to start grabbing colors and setting them on as shown. This is fully customizable. You can change the colors to your liking. Let's start the ice dispenser with two 1x2x2 one by two by two angle bricks. Place them like so. Now, let's set down a 2x4 plate on the top portion of the corner bricks. Let's flip it over and place a 1x4 brick. Now, let's take a 2x2 two two plate, set it in the center. Now, on the top, let's place a 1x2 flat tile, followed by another 1x2 flat tile on the bottom. You can leave this tile transparent and slip a label in there that says ice. Now, let's take two 1x1 one one slopes that like to roll around. Let's place them on the bottom. Now let's finish off these sides with two one by two slopes. Now let's build a few stacks of cups and some lids. Let's place these five studs on top of one another.
and a one by one round brick. Looks like we have a bunch of cups stacked on top of one another. Let's make another one. Let's make this a shorter stack with three more studs and a one by one round brick. Now let's do the lids. I have a few transparent clear round studs that like to roll around. So let's place these on top of one another and if it stays in place let's crown off the top with a one by one transparent clear round flat tile. Now we have a set of cups and some lids. Let's place this large stack of cups in the back. Now I'm going to place the shorter stack in the front, followed by the lids. Now, let's start on the left hand side. Let's place one of our soft drink dispensers. Stamps right on the bricks with knobs. Let's put in the top of the ice machine. And let's put the other soft drink dispenser on the right hand side. There we have a complete soft drink fountain dispenser. And it is the right height for many figures. So here we have Jay the Surfer. He needs something cool to drink. Everything is the right height. He can even press the knob. Maybe he'll have to jump up there to get it. And this could be used for any sort of restaurant or any other kind of setting that requires soft drinks. It's a nice build. It's fully customizable. You can change it. You can integrate it to anything you wish. If you like this video, be sure to comment your thoughts and click that like button. To show your appreciation, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of my latest LEGO video content. Check out my other LEGO related videos and visit my social media. Thank you for watching.